Welcome to Turning Tuesday. This week I make my first bolt action pen. This pen I picked up from Timber Bits in Sydney. It's called the Mark II. I chose the Trivalent Chrome variety. I just love the dark metal, almost like gun metal. It just blends in so well and works really well against the light wood. You'll notice the wood I'm using here is a piece that's extremely close to a knot, which has created some gorgeous fiddleback, which you'll see in the zoomed up photos later. Once again, you'll see my process. I've already skipped past the cutting with the bandsaw. I've jumped straight into the trimming. So I'm just lining this up and getting it nice and square. Eyeballing it. It's not going to be accurate every time. Just using that square scraper and cleaning it up. Just want to get that nice shine of the brass barrel. That's now come out, so I'll flip it around and do the other end. As you can already see, this ends are very close, so it'll just be a quick touch up, and off we go. I skipped the main portion of turning on this one, that's purely because I forgot to hit the record button. You may have noticed at the start of this clip, I actually switched tools. Already moving into the sanding. The sanding, as you may remember, I do 150 through 600. And I go left to right in between to go along with the grain. It's a bit harder with the... Uh, fiddle back because it sends the grain in all kinds of wild directions. The clip coming up just in a second you'll notice that I do something a little bit different after I blow dry it and clear out those pores I actually pull out a bit of methylated spirit and I give it a good clean that's because of the wild grain I really like to get them cleaned out so while I'm cleaning it out I take the heat to it so I turn it on speed it up use the paper towel and burnish it a little bit that'll both help clean it up a little bit further and bring out that shine by adding some burnish. I then walk away for a while and I let it dry because that will eat away at the finish if I put super glue straight on that. Wardrobe change and moving into the finish. I start with the thin CA again this is Bob Smith Industries it just adds a really nice layer of Chatoyance, it really brings it out and it's very enjoyable for me. Part of this process is sharing my craft, and that is my finish the way I like it shown. So, the first layer I put on, I let it dry all by itself. I do a little dance, I just wait for it to dry properly, and then I go and apply a second one. From there, I'll start using some activator and really start smashing through them. Maybe I did two layers naturally drying. Here I am doing my little dance at four times speed. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Give it a quick spray just to make sure it's 
finished nice and hard before I can move into the other layers. Wardrobe change again. Back into my smock. I noticed a touch of the paper towel had come off then. I use paper towel to soak up any of the lasting accelerator. Otherwise, when I put the next layer on, it could start solidifying almost immediately and destroy the entire finish. It wouldn't be the first time I've made that mistake and had to go back to the start. You can't sandpaper off it because it's almost plastic and it just melts with the heat from the sandpaper so you have to pull the turning tools back out and really shine it up back to absolute nothing back to the bare wood and off we go luckily this time around I didn't do that What's a YouTube video without a camera fail? Whoops! Going through that micro mesh system, getting that really nice shine to it, smoothing it all out. I end up having to do two layers of this. Switching into real time, this is the last layer of the micro mesh system, the finest polish. Again, this is just smoothing it out, it's not actually getting the final polish. I do that with a couple other methods. I did have to come back to the second one. You'll notice here, I stop it, hand turn it, I give it a close inspection, and I notice some very, very, very minor pitting. So I pull the micro mesh out again and I refinish it. This time it comes out absolutely perfect. Now when I apply this polish, I do speed it up. I take it actually quite a significant speed higher. Just because I want the heat to generate from those polishing pads. And it really does add an extra layer of shine. You'll notice here I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm actually adding a wet polish as well. If I apply it, rotate it around, use the dry piece, get all of that off, and then I give it a final buff with the piece of wool. You may have noticed it's stuck to the other end there. That doesn't always happen. It happens more often than I'd like though. This is part of the process for me. You'll notice the chatoyants here, those really, really light reflective pieces caused by the knot, the really tight grain of wood. It's absolutely stunning. I very much enjoy this. Moving into the pictures now, I decided to do some fancy zooming. I hope you enjoy these pictures and like and subscribe. This was a returning customer and this piece of wood was one that I chose specifically for them.